had their tax credits stopped by the American company Concentrics, have had them reinstated. Back in September, this programme first broke the story that the private company used by the government to assess claims had wrongly cut off the payments for hundreds of people. Last week, we spoke to Cat Smart, Ek Peng Yong, whose tax credits were cut in August. She was appealing against the decision and told us that without that money, she couldn't afford to get to hospital to attend appointments for her breast cancer. It's just not fair. It's not fair that I should have to decide whether to feed my child or to go to a hospital appointment. They shouldn't, they shouldn't do that. They shouldn't have you know, that kind of power to be able to do that. I'm going through cancer and I want to work. So why should I be penalised for wanting to work? Since then, Kat has been told by HMRC that the original decision has been overturned. Well, I've had a telephone call from um, Tax Credits Office to advise me that my self-employment um, has been reinstated mm -hmm. and that I'm due a back payment of quite a substantial amount of money for everything that they've owed me and also they've kind of looked into further and an overpayment that I've been paying back since 2014 which I've questioned many times they now realise was their error so they're paying me that back as well. And how do you feel about that? Well, <laughs> sorry. Very happy. Elated. Yeah. Yes. When you got the call, go on, what were you thinking? I cried, I shook, I was pinching myself, came off the phone, I thought, did that just happen? Was that really real? And I had to actually ask my friend who was with me, I said, did I just get a phone call? She said, yes, she did, it, you know, it's real. Finally, after 15 weeks of, oh my gosh, struggling. What does it mean then, not just financially, but emotionally for you and your family? The weight that has been lifted is just, you know, I'm beyond words. I can't actually put it into words and express the feeling of joy, my elation. You know, I'm going to be able to just do normal things like go out and do a normal food shop and, you know, buy shoes for my daughter. Just the normal everyday things. Now, I'm not talking about going mad and having a big spend, but just normal everyday living. Mm. Including being able to afford to go to the hospital for regular yes. post cancer treatment checkups. Yes, I've got my next appointment on the 2nd of December, which I now will definitely be able to make yeah. so I can get started on my treatment I need for the next five years. And we wish you all the best. Let's speak now to the SNP MP, Tasmina Ahmed Sheikh, who's been raising the issue in the Commons. And I think the fact that nine out of ten people have had their tax credits reinstated is down to uh, a parliamentary question that you put down. I'd asked a series of written questions last week in relation to what the update was relative to mandatory uh, reconsiderations, and there have been tens of, tens of thousands of them, and it's quite incredible, and it speaks to the scandal of concentrics that nine out of ten of those were upheld. There is, of course, still an issue around the length of time it's taking for tax credits to be reinstated. Uh, the average is about 35 days, which simply isn't good enough. And now I'm calling on Philip Hammond, the Chancellor, to make sure there's compensation available to all the victims of this concentric scandal um, when he delivers his autumn statement on Wednesday. So not just that they get their, their, their payments backdated, but on top of that compensation, is that what you mean? Absolutely, because it's been a breach of contract. First of all, the concentrics contract was not to be renewed. And then the situation was so bad that the government decided that they had to cancel it with immediate effect. So compensation absolutely should be made payable to people. And some are receiving it, but, but some aren't. I mean, there are paltry sums like £20 in some cases. Some of my constituents aren't getting any money at all. So there's no consistency across the board. But at the end of the day, these people are victims of a, of a scandal that the government is responsible for. And they should be paid money back because some of the sums that they're getting in terms of compensation, those who've been offered it, doesn't even cost, cover the cost of the phone calls or indeed the postage for sending documents again and again uh, to be reviewed by concentrics. It's absolutely appalling. HMRC say it's perfectly routine, perfectly normal to ask tax credit claimants for evidence of their personal circumstances. There's nothing wrong with asking people for evidence, but when you find yourself in a situation that once that's examined further, that nine out of ten of those appeals are upheld, there's something going dreadfully wrong in the system. So that has to be dealt with. The government have to accept 
it's gone wrong, they have to accept responsibility and those who've fallen victim of this need to be compensated. Thank you very much. Thanks for your time. Tasmina Anderchek, SNP MP. We ask HMRC and Concentric for an interview again, as we have been doing consistently since we broke the story in September. They continue to say no uh, and we'll continue to ask. Theresa May is due to speak to the 